Hello, thank you for joining me. My name is Marlon King, and this is my interpersonal communication video presentation for my interpersonal communication project for my interpersonal communication course for Liberty University. What I will be doing today is going over and highlighting a number of things which I have learned and the knowledge that I have gained throughout the court time of this eight week course with Liberty University and try to enlighten you, the listener and viewer, as to some of the things that have changed and happened to me as a result of taking this course. I do want to make mention and apologize. There may be times in which I may look off screen. Uh, the purpose of that is because I'm trying to use a guide to assist me in presenting clearly and effectively to you uh, by using a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, so the first thing I would like to do is to speak on and address some of my life goals so that you may be aware as to what it is I looked and hoped to do as a working human service professional and what it was that I hoped to have gained as a result of this course to help me reach my goal. Uh, speaking to that, ideally, I would hope and strive that it is my goal to use communication to eliminate barriers and to assist in healing individuals who have barriers and who may be struggling so that they may live more productive and more positively throughout their lives so that they can be able to go on and positively affect the lives of others. Um, I like to believe that if you show somebody the proper respect and do the proper things and help them properly, that they then can be able to take that knowledge and apply that and help others. So by helping one, I um, actually can help more, but it is my goal to be able to help a wide range of individuals going forward in life. My communication influences. Um, when speaking to my background, uh, I have lived in a variety of places from growing up in California, to spending time in Florida, to Georgia, and now Norfolk, Virginia, where I currently stay, I believe that my time in all those various areas, uh, meeting with different cultures, uh, living both in rural areas, more urban areas, uh, and it has allowed me the opportunity to expand my knowledge and my level of diversity when working with and interacting with different individuals. Um, that has helped me greatly when getting to the career field that I currently have as a human service professional, uh, being that I am a little more diverse and have a slightly better understanding than some of my colleagues do. Um, when getting into the actual human service field, uh, I believe that you find quickly that the more aware that you are and the more practice that you have had with dealing with diverse individuals, uh, it greatly assists you with being more effective in providing better service. Um, throughout the time of this course, I have learned what type of communication style that I have. I have also learned uh, what works and what doesn't work in regards to the way that I currently communicate and the way that I look to for communicating with others, um, in addition to how others communicate with me. Uh, this was helped through the means of our textbooks and e-learning, as well as our discussion board posts that we engaged in. Um, also, some online assessments that we did that helped with identifying our personality types, behavior types, and communication styles. In regards to my communication styles and my learning type, um, through the Unique, uniquely you assessment that was done, as well as our ebook. Um, I was considered to be a what is called a CS, as well as a SC. Um, these speak to far as where I fall on the spectrum, and what they look for, and the different type of personality types. A few of these traits and behaviors. Uh, what speaks to them is, I apologize, what speaks to them is how 
they interact and engage with others. In regards to my personality type and style, uh, a few key points that I want to highlight and touch on. One being that it states that I am shyer than others, but I am not antisocial. Uh, people seem to feel you as non-threatening other than when they mess with your family or security or when they try to misrepresent facts. Also, it speaks to my passive nature, which I also found very interesting. Um, the reason for this is because I found that it all spoke true and rang true in regards to myself. Um, in regards to how this has affected me as a person and a human service professional, uh, it plays good because it shows that I have an empathic side and that I display a great deal of compassion with others. However, my passive side has also led to me also avoiding conflicts and issues. And so those are things I look to work on. Um, those are also some things that I'll call and consider to be communication barriers. Um, those barriers sometimes can impede in me being able to effectively communicate with others. Um, our text states that communication barriers are things that affect the listening and response that is giving. So when speaking to that, a few communication barriers to speak on and that you as a listener can take, take mine into consideration of are that uh, some communication barriers can be considered to be loud environments, uh, the voice, tone, cadence, and volume of a person's uh, speech, uh, the feelings and thoughts that you have about an individual whom you are communicating with, something that is called, our text calls this flat brain syndrome, which is when your emotions control or drive your thoughts. So those are just a few barriers uh, which can most often lead to ineffective communication or poor communication. Uh, things to do in regards to should you come across any communication barriers are to first identify those barriers and then work to alleviate those barriers. Um, once you have found out what those, what those barriers are, then you can work to overcome them by making a number of different strategies. Some can be to reflect and paraphrase what is said to you so that you have a better understanding. Uh, another is to not overload yourself with information. Feel free to take pauses and breaks when communicating with individuals or to take notes. Also, on the flip side of that, be mindful not to overload anyone else with too much information. You want to make sure that the person who is listening or receiving what it is that you're saying can take in all your information. Um, also, always ask for clarity for what is said to you and also for if you're saying something to someone else to make sure that they understand. My action plan to incorporate my goal, overcome communication barriers, and to be a more effective communicator would be to constantly reassess the way in ways the ways in which I communicate with others as well as to look for any potential ways to continuously grow in the ways in which I communicate. I hope to be able to one day get to the point to where I can effectively communicate with all people in all manners uh, in regards to both my nonverbal and verbal cues and ways of communicating. Um, I do believe that I still have a great deal of growth and growing to do. However, I do feel as though I've made great process, progress prior to this course as well as throughout the time in this course. And in closing, I would like to leave you with a quote. It states from Maya Angelou that, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. In regards to communication, I believe that that is exceptionally important due to the fact that though they may not forget, though they may forget the words in which you said, if your words truly impacted them and were effective, they will always remember how your words made them feel. And that also goes for your nonverbals as well. Um, a few of my references and sources are our books from the Listening, the Forgotten Skill by Barry Allen, uh, How to Solve the People Puzzle by Carbonell, uh, Why Don't We Listen Better by Peterson, and Br 
Bridges, Not Walls by Stewart. I thank you for your time and hope that this was to some degree or another very effective. Uh, feel free to leave comments down below if you wish to gain more information and insight to myself as well as to this interpersonal communication course. Thank you.